Hello, my name's Ethan. Make sure to check my website, ethanren.com, for they can find links to all my various socials. We are live right now. You could be here too. Follow and subscribe and you'll get notified, and then you could be here asking me questions about your favorite symbols, if there's anything you'd like me to cover, any critiques you'd like to make, I'd be more than happy to help you with that. This is my website. Here's an example of one of the blog posts on my website, as you can see. I make a lot of different blog posts talking about the products that we cover here on stream, covering more in-depth information such as their top holdings and a little bit of information about what those companies do. And every post has its own unique video to coincide with it, which you're able to view. And at the very bottom, you're also able to leave a comment and let me know what you thought, maybe recommend how I could improve. If you go to the very bottom on every page, you'll see this little Discord icon. If you click it, you're able to basically view and get full access to our Discord community without making an account, without downloading anything. You're basically able to browse freely, which is quite nice. If you see any pictures you like, you click on the picture. There's this text here that says open original, and it will open the full size picture in another tab just so you're able to clearly see it. So what is the first product we're going to be talking about today? We are going to be talking about symbol IDU. IDU. This is the iShares US Utility ETF. So, what are some of the things I like about symbol IDU? Well, the utility sector is often referred to as a very resilient sector. It tends to perform well in all types of market conditions, whether it be good times are or bad times. Um, you had a lot of other sectors of the economy pulling back 30, 40, 50% during that 2022 time period. And as you can see, during that 2022 time period, um, utilities are relatively flat for a period they were even up during that 2022 time period where the entirety of the world's equities were pulling back. And then as of right now, I mean, they're only down as much as 5% going through all of that. And the max they were down is like 10%, right? So typically people would refer to utilities as being a low risk sector. And in finance, when people say low risk, they're t what they mean by this is lo like low standard deviation. It doesn't have crazy swings, which can be quite desirable uh, for a lot of different types of investors, especially approaching their later years of their investing cycle. If they're coming close to retirement, they don't necessarily want something that's going to be moving super fast, potentially up big or down big in the near future because they're approaching retirement. They, they want those safer equities, right? You know, maybe higher dividend products, more value investing. Utilities can provide that for you. Another thing I like about IDU is, as you can see here, they have a dividend yield of 2.53%. Again, this is huge. This is huge. A utility sector offers great dividends, similar to like the real estate sector or potentially the banking sector. Although I think you'd probably get better dividends out of utilities potentially than some banking uh, companies. Now... There's no financials here, of course, because it's an ETF. I, I do like ETFs a lot. Um, ETFs help you diversify your the risk of owning a singular company across a wide variety of companies in a particular sector or country, et cetera, et cetera. This one is a sectoral ETF. So everything in this asset is, again, in that utilities sector. Um, and you again, utilities tend to perform well and be very resilient because they have this idea of like this reoccurring monthly revenue. Um, companies love reoccurring monthly revenue. Investors love reoccurring monthly revenue. Um, and it's not just any type of reoccurring monthly re revenue. You could think of like a World of Warcraft as a reoccurring monthly revenue. Um, but what makes utilities more resilient, right, is... The type of revenue you're getting is not from an entertainment or a luxury type expense, such as like a video game subscription. It comes from, you know, electricity, internet, um, water, um, people who manage potentially like garbage in your area, like waste management, WM. So it, it's a lot of these more essential expenses, right? You know, when times get hard, when times get hard and the economy is getting hard and you have less available income to spend, what are you going to do? Are you going to potentially choose to save money that month by 
canceling maybe a World of Warcraft subscription or something that's a more frivolous expense, like a luxury good, like buying new clothes that month? Or are you going to be like, you know, I'm just not going to have electricity the, this month. I'm just not going to have heat this month. More often than not, 99% not of consumers would probably lean towards paying that electric bill, paying that heating bill, right? So again, it's these qualities that make the utility sector very resilient, right? Very resilient. Um, now, on a technical level, what, what do I like about IDU? As you can see here, this purple line, if it comes down, I've marked everywhere where, where the RSI has touched, bottomed out, touching that 30, right? When the RSI is oversold, like it is here, this is particularly seen as a good time to be buying this asset potentially, or it's a good value, it's a good time to be allocating money into this investment. When the RSI is high in the sky, like it was here in March 2022, right here, this is can be interpreted as a sign that it is overvalued, potentially not the best time to be allocating funds into that investment. If I just go through, let's quickly take a glance at the prior times where the RSI was as low as it is currently. Here in March 2022, you could see the RSI came down, touched that 30, and then symbol IDU proceeded to run as much as 57.84%. Now that's really good. A time prior to that would be February 2018, RSI came down, touched that 30, then symbol IDU proceeded to run as much as 43.43%. The time prior would be August 2015, RSI came down, neared that 30. It didn't even touch the 30. It came close to it. Then proceeded to run as much as 38%. And then we'll do one more prior to that. As you can see here, November 2012, RSI came down, touched that 30. It took about one, two, three months. One, two, three months for the RSI to come up and touch that top. But when it went to the top, it stayed at the top and it did not come down t revisiting that 30 for as long as 700 days. That's just under two years of continued uninterrupted growth. You really can't take these opportunities for granted. I, I really try to stress these things and emphasize them in my videos. And sometimes people will undervalue the opportunities that are available available in front of them. As you can see, we're looking at about 15, 14, 15 years of price history. And in that time, we only have one, two, three, four, five, five to six times where this has happened. So that's like once every third year. So by opting into an investment like this, when the RSIs are low, uh, you could potentially be invested in something that's going to continue to grow for two to three years on its own passively, right? Passive income on its own. Um, so I really recommend positions like this. Now, every time I just mentioned where the RSI was low, touching that 30, see this dark blue line here, this dark blue line, this is the weekly 180 moving average. If you come up here next to the symbol, there's a W, it means every candle here represents one week of time. It's important to keep in mind your time frame, so you have a general idea of how long it'll take for these patterns to play out. So it's uncoincidental that every time that the RSI is oversold and by that 30, you are simultaneously seeing a bounce off this weekly 180 moving average. And it's tended to act as a support for what has, again, been roughly 14 years uninterrupted. We have this upward trending price channel with this green line being the support and these three red lines being the resistance. As you can see, it's gone as high as this third line here before. Over here on my other monitor, let me bring that up. Here are the holdings. Here are the holdings for symbol IDU. Now, again, when you're buying an ETF, you're buying a collection of assets that represent um, this fund, right? So it's important to have a general idea of what the assets are of the fund you're interested in so you have you know what you're really investing in sure you're buying the etf you're buying idu but really you're buying a percentage ownership represented here of these underlying companies 
So the top 10 holdings for Symbol IDU consist of Nex Extra Energy, Southern Co., Waste Management, Duke Energy Corp., Sempra Energy, American Electric Power Co., Dominion Energy, Exelon Corp., Excel Energy, and then Republic Service Inc. And again, these are all from the utilities sector. If you look at this sector weighting, it's basically all utilities, a little bit of industrials. It's basically all utilities. So where do we expect symbol IDU to be going moving forward? Well, right now we currently have a projection in place of as much as a 35.53% gain. Again, that may not sound like a ton, but when you keep in mind, this is a very resilient sector that's known for being risk, like low risk, low standard deviations, not the craziest and wildest of swings that you might get from like a more extravagant sector like tech maybe, right? This is a very solid rate of return that you would expect from this sector. Uh, definitely something I would recommend scaling into. This is something you can potentially, you could pay, allocate money to now as it's very fairly valued now as you can see markets have been running recently markets have been running recently they they just keep going they just keep going um and while markets are running you know this still presents a great opportunity to be allocating money into this sector now i'm going to be moving into the next symbol here you might start to see a th a running theme with today's stream so give me one moment 